sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons. Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, to get this one going. And we're underway in Atlanta. Nicole Hardman now on the return. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. So here come the Chiefs, sticking the field for their first drop of the game. Leading them out, fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. All of us as sports fans, we know those players in the other sports that when we just think of the greatest to ever do it, a skill set that's different than everybody else, immediately a player pops in your mind. And while we have seen goats like Tom Brady and Super Bowl winners many times over like Bradshaw, Montana, and Aikman, there's just not many that have ever done it with the flair, the style, and the skill set of Patrick Mahomes. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. And he finds the seam down the middle, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Mahomes on first and ten. He's got his man. That's Travis Kelsey. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And it'll be first down Kansas City. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. All set up now for first and ten. Another throw for Mahomes. Nowhere to go with it, so he just throws it away. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throw it again, Mahomes. He's got it near the eight. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. It's second and goal. Again, Mahomes to throw. Chased down to his right. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs finish up an excellent opening series. Patrick Mahomes, the touchdown. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest.
Rutger on now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Ray Ray McLeod. He's got a lane up past the 30. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. So here are the Falcons out on offense for their first drive. And leading them out in his 13th season out of Michigan State is Kirk Cousins. Well over a decade has started in this league, and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers. The thing that's eluded him, despite all the stats, are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories. I think Kirk, his family, and everybody rooting for him hopes the final chapters of his career will contain some of those. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's going to be marked down about four yards away from that first down marker. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. All plays on the table here for third and three. Complete beyond the marker. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like the 40 yard line. It's a gain of four. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Now Cousins again. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, and you gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. On second and ten, Cousins again. Got a man, it's Drake London. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. They'll run it here with Bijan Robinson. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Okay, that's a run that's ho hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Staying with Robinson. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains. That is one disheartening look on that defense. They've come out swinging to begin this contest as they've got it down to the 31. On first and 10, it's Cousins. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. This one misses the tight end. And it's going to be second down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Throwing again on second and ten. Cousins. This one falls incomplete. Going to have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. Got it! And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. 
They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Here's Robinson. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We will not get another play. Welcome back. Time for our second quarter. The Falcons with a chance to score. He's got it on the bootleg. And that's going to be a touchdown. It's on the board for now. But will it stand? We've got to see what this flag is all about. He was downfield in a hurry, hoping to help with the play, but that effort cost some points as the penalty wipes out that touchdown. Still second down. Backed up just a bit. Here's another second and goal. Out of the gun, Cousins. Has it in close. And not quite a touchdown, but he's down to the four before going out. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. So now, here's third and goal. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons finish off their opening drive. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he can go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Young Hoi Ku on for the point after. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Turn starts at the nine. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Shotgun handoff to Piran. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid 70-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. From the 36. Short pass caught by his tight end. He's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Out 
out of the gun. It's Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. So second down coming up. I think everybody in the building was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short throw to the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those drops. Second and ten now. Short pass caught by his tight end. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Back to the air, Mahomes. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got it, room to run. And he's able to get this down to the 36. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, came from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Third and short. Here's Mahomes. Running in by Juju. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Offense set for a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Second down now, seven to go. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he gets this forward to the 19. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. He picked up a good jump, and there was nearly room to add even more. Here we go, third and less than a yard. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. It's the two-minute warning now from Atlanta. The Chiefs with an extra moment to decide whether to go for it or not. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. It's a 39-yarder from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. Avery Williams on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Falcons and receiver Darnell Mooney headed out there now. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series.
They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Cousins. Throw reeled in by London. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Play action now for Cousins. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Here's Cousins now. He's got a man left. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. The nice thing about a drag route is it works versus zone. You can find that soft spot and get a completion, but they can be very effective when you got an excellent route runner running away on that drag route for man coverage. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down throw for Cousins. He's got it over the middle. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. They'll get 18 yards there. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll come up first and 10. Working inside the red zone. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Couldn't find Kyle Pitts on that throw. And we'll see what they do here on second down. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Now Cousins again. Finds his target, Robinson. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. This one's caught. And he's going to be just inside the 10 before he goes out. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. That route's just not deep enough. Needed to extend it closer to the chains for a first down. So now on fourth down, the Falcons electing to send Young Hui Ku after the field goal. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attack. Here's a return from the seven. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Chiefs take it over now, real late in this opening half. And 35 seconds isn't a ton, but it is enough to muster up a little something. There's 35 seconds to go in the half as they are ready to begin their drive. First and ten, it's Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. 
didn't connect on first. It's second down. Mahomes. Called in by Worthy. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Here's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. a good pickup. They've got second and four. Throwing again. Mahomes. Quick hitter complete. And he's going to be drugged down. Looks like at that 37-yard line. To the line we go. They're set. First and ten. Again, Mahomes to throw. That is incomplete. Down to 13 seconds left. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Another throw for Mahomes. And the coverage is too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in. So just throws it away. Third down coming up. You know, Kate, that was one of those situations where you hear a quarterback having a clock, right? You know, and you end up time in the pocket, but then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. He did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it and cut his losses. It's far enough, but no good. He sent it just a little bit right. And this stays tied here in the second. He was hitting from that distance pregame. Heck, we were on the field watching it, and they were confident he could do so again. Just did not work out this time around. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Back to throw it. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring him down. We've arrived at the break, and what a second half we're in store for. It's tied at 10. Understood. Some people would rather get right back to the field to play. And so we will as we advance to the start of the second half. Well, we're set up for an incredible second half, all tied as we kick it away here in quarter number three. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Falcons offense now with the football first to begin quarter number three. And they could take control of the second half early, Brock, if they break the tie on this opening drive. Starts out with a first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. Escapes a defender. It's a 21-yard gain. And the Falcons will have a first. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond.
great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. On first and ten, it's Cousins. He'll get this complete to Mooney. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw it with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. They fake the handoff. Now Cousins. Won't get this complete to Pitts. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icy on the cake. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten now. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons take the lead right away in half number two. Kyle Pitts with the touchdown. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock. And there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him which is what makes defending him so tough. Borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route, just like the receiver would. It's a totally different animal. A nightmare for these defenses. Return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. They'll look to knot up this game right now as they trail 17-10. And the drive will start out the first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He gets this one to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. the gun they'll give it to him inside and the defense is all over this one for a big loss i talked to a bunch of different gms kate especially around draft time and they all say the same thing linebackers are so hard to find it's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them, along with everybody else. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. They send the tight end in motion. Mahomes on first and ten. Able to find Smith-Schuster here. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A pickup there of 39. 
And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Here's the one back on the handoff. And he'll go down here at the 16. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. And it'll be second and goal. Still a couple of shots at this one. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Looking to throw Mahomes. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. They motion the tight end over. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. It's caught. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you got to earn your place there. Easy way to do it, catches just like that, going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. The Chiefs ring on Harrison Butker for the field goal. Angling this one in from the right hash, the challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team is out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Falcons and Kirk Cousins headed back out to the field now. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of... ready to begin this drive first and ten shotgun snap now to Cousins fires over the middle caught and he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down Kate when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Humber and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on the drag route run away you see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. First and ten, here's Cousins. Got a man over the middle, complete. Oh, this big guy is moving! And they will score, it's an Atlanta touchdown! The Falcons lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Kyle Pitts with a touchdown. His second 
scoring catch of the game. I should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a, a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two <laughs> scores now, it's what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. That one splits the uprights. He fields it from the eight. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. The play fake, it's Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. First and 10, it's Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now it's Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he gets it through the midfield stripe, but onto the Falcons' side of the field. Sure, that first down right there. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. So it'll be second down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Throwing from the gun here. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance, just give me a chance, just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Sending a tight end in motion left. Third and short, here's Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute. First down from the red zone. The throw is caught. 
And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. Well, that right there, Kate, that is the epitome of trust and trust in your big physical tight end, throwing his way into double coverage. You may question the decision when the ball leaves his hands, but it's tough to question when it produces results like that. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs now within one score in the fourth. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Here are the Chiefs facing a massive two-point try. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Again, Mahomes to throw. And the pass is the right call on the two-point try, but we've got Laundry on the field, so let's listen. Not sure he knew he went out of bounds before he made a play on that ball, Brock, but he was the first to touch it coming back in, and that's going to get the penalty. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now here come the Falcons on offense. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Going right side. Robinson with it. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. carry for Robinson and they bring him down but there's a flag on the field so now partner got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways second and 15 and he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down you know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. That's the two-minute warning here from Atlanta. Falcons with a five-point lead. Third and just two to go. He'll throw it. He'll get this complete to Mooney. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Robinson, up the middle. And he has enough room to gain about four. Now we get another stoppage here. Just 152 remaining. The defense burns a timeout. Oh 
Second and six coming up here. Robinson on the inside give. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. The defense takes its third and final timeout. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. moments that even though it's been years and decades I could still hear the great Mike Holmgren saying to me after I tried to scramble as a QB that couldn't really run like our guy today and he would say oh Brock bless your heart oh bless your heart and really what he's saying is don't ever try that again So with the Falcons set to punt on fourth, on comes Bradley Pinion. Fair catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. They're out and set, first and ten. Here he is to throw. This one finds Kelsey. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. As I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cooking. And you never go broke taking a profit in those big tight ends, but often finds you those easy check down yards. Chiefs in the hurry up, trying to get everyone in the line. In motion left is Smith Schuster. Looking to throw it. That pass is caught by Smith Schuster. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. Chiefs in the hurry up, trying to get everyone in the line. Now to throw. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. That's Justin Simmons. And the Falcons make the play that should win them this game. You can see it right off the snap. They got a really good read on where that was designed to go. Having that extra defensive back, that nickel coverage, so critical on that interception. Give that defensive coordinator some credit. Had the right plan, the right personnel. These guys on the field made the right play. No timeouts remaining here, partner, so they can just run out this clock. And he's going to take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly for me. What a hard fight that 